His Excellency President David Granger says the East Barbies quarantine region has the potential to ensure food security in the Eastern Caribbean area. Narima Ali reports. The East Burbies quarantine region is known as an agricultural region that produces rice, sugar and many different cash crops that are carried to other regions and some of which is also exported to other countries. At the 5th annual National Tree Day program hosted by the Ministry of Agriculture at the number 53 Union Village Sports Complex, His Excellency President David Granger said that Burbies can ensure food security for Eastern Caribbean countries because of its size. I've long held the view, my friends, that East Burbies County has the land, it has the expertise, it has the experience to guarantee Guyana's food security and to make its residents prosperous. It can even guarantee the food security of the Eastern Caribbean. And when I speak about food security, I know there is a, another event hosted by the Ministry of Agriculture next week. But food security is a situation where everybody at all times can have physical, social, economic access to sufficient, safe, and nutritious food. Food which meets their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life. This means that food must be available and food must be available in sufficient quantities and it must be accessible to everyone. Not just rich people, but everyone. That is food security. When everyone can get enough food when they want it. Our country, Guyana, is fortunate because we enjoy a certain level of food security. Our rice, our root crops, our vegetables. But some of these products are unevenly distributed. There are certainly some places where there is no food for security, food security, or certainly insufficient security, especially in some poor hinterland communities. But we have the capacity and the capability to produce enough you know, food, especially the food that the Caribbean wants. The Caribbean wants staples. They want animal products. They want legumes and vegetables and fruit. They want fats and oils, and we can give them everything they want and more. We have the capacity in Guyana to ensure improved access to really nutritional food. His Excellency stressed that Region 6 is larger in size than Belgium and that residents should take advantage of this to develop the region and more so the country. And our population can be well fed if we address the deficiencies that now exist in national food security. And the quarantine has always played an important role, especially in sugar and rice. But I feel that the quarantine has a comparative advantage beyond sugar and rice into fruits and vegetables, into coconuts, into citrus. All of these commodities could be produced under quarantine in large quantities. Everything we need to eat in this country and in the Eastern Caribbean could be grown right here in the quarantine. Like all your foreigners, how do you not come from the quarantine? Quarantine could produce everything you want to eat. True, true. My friends, Guyana exported fruit and vegetables worth 8 million US dollars last year. That is not much. That is way below our potential. The economists calculate that if we had a more robust program for agro-processing, we could export 250 million US dollars worth of agricultural produce. Agricultural exports make up one-third of Guyana's gross domestic product or GDP and approximately 30% of the country's employment. With investments in production, facilities, quality assurance and processing, non-traditional agriculture could become an engine of export growth. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.